What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine and we are taking a look at this incredibly small, I mean this is super super compact J Flight SLX by Jayco. This thing is tiny, I mean like incredibly tiny, but it's gonna be perfect for a lot of folks who are simply looking for the smallest practical travel trailer that might suit them and their family's needs. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, before we go too much further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. This is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 3,200 pounds. You heard me right, 3,200 pounds. Has a single 3,080 pound axle, and the cargo capacity on this unit is 542 pounds. So this right here is ideal for some of those smaller trucks, something like a Frontier or a Tacoma, maybe a small SUV. As long as you have that four to 6,000 pound tow capacity, something like this might be perfect for you. You still may need a weight distribution hitch and sway control because this lighter unit can actually really dictate how you're towing if wind starts to hit this thing from the side. So just keep that in mind. Up front, you can see it has a manual tongue jack, has a single 20 pound propane tank on it, and it has a spot here for, you know, you probably put two batteries right there. You could easily convert this into something that runs off electricity only. You could put one large lithium iron phosphate battery right there, eliminate the propane, just go to a electric setup, maybe swap out the gas range with an electric one. I mean, there are a lot of options with something this small. You could even throw a ton of solar up top, which would be kind of cool actually. You have your city water connection. Right here, you're gonna have your tank fill for your water. You have it already pre-wired for surround cameras from Furion, which is really nice. Outside of your water heater, you're gonna have your 30 amp cord right here. This is gonna be the outside of your refrigerator. Cable TV satellite input, as well as a furnace. This has Goodyear Endurance tires on it, which are also really nice. Here is your black and gray tank sewer connections here. All LED lighting. This is the vent hood behind your microwave or your range. You want to make sure that's open if you're going to be cooking anything and using it. All LED lighting back here as well. It does not have a camera mount, but you could easily put one of those wireless style battery cameras back here. Because of the length of this thing is only about 16 feet long, you know, you don't really have a range problem. Spare tire hanging off the back. Coming around this side, no slides on this unit. I know a lot of people will appreciate that. Over here you have a 110 outlet and you have some storage right here as well because this doesn't have the traditional front pass through. That one's locked at the moment. From a frame perspective, this is gonna ride on a, looks like a three inch boxed frame or tubular frame. Let me verify that. Yep, it is a boxed frame, which is kind of cool. So it's not your traditional C channel frame, but that's also why they can go with a smaller frame, but that's also why they can go with a smaller frame section. It has a nice Solera power awning up top as well. Very, very cool. Let's take a look inside of this J Flight 145RB. Give you a little flip out steps right here. You have a nice screen door. It would have been nice if they put a friction hinge. I know the price point of something like this is gonna be really low. But what's interesting is, is that the door's already kind of prepped for it, but there's clearly not a friction hinge on this door because it just swings freely. Anyways, let's step inside of this super compact travel trailer. I would pan around. Well, actually I can pan around because there is a pantry right here. And there's the wheel for your front tongue jack. But you have a nice size pantry actually. It goes back about a foot. A lot of depth to it. And then on this side, you have all your necessities, to be honest, right? You have this enormous seating area. This turns into a bed over here. And this space right here looks like you have additional storage underneath, which is cool. And this is accessed from that outside little storage door that was locked. So that's really nice. So you could sleep someone here. You could probably sleep a few people right here. Nice, good sized dinette. Cabinetry all around. A lot of storage in this unit. They definitely utilize the space well for that. You have your gas electric refrigerator right here. More storage underneath here. This has a two burner gas cooktop. Again, if you converted this to solar only and just electricity, you could easily change that out with like an induction cooktop, something like that. Well, you have a 12 volt outlet here as well. 
that can be convenient for some things, right? You might bring a charger with you that requires that cigarette lighter style adapter. You have your compact microwave up top. Again, good amount of storage. This is that range hood and vent I was telling you about. So on the back side of this is where you'd vent it out. Has a nice valance above the window right here. It is wired for solar, and that's typically gonna be just to charge your batteries. Has a nice stereo up here. More storage. Single non-ducted air conditioning system, which is really all you need for this type of unit. There's one of your speakers right there. Let's take a look inside of the bathroom. Very basic bathroom, typical RV style tub. You have a skylight up top. You know, I know that this stuff right here, this wallboard is waterproof, so you can use this as your shower surround, but it's always nice, even if they just threw like a really cheap shower surround in here to give you a little bit of isolation. Makes you feel a little better knowing that there's a plastic panel going around, I think, too. Nice mirror already hung on the wall. And the toilet. Oh, wow. That, wow. I That's taking me back. That is a porcelain foot flush toilet. You, you, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, I did not expect to see a porcelain foot flush toilet inside of this travel trailer. That's blowing me away right now. Wow. Craziness. Very cool though. It's not cool in terms of heat because right now I'm burning up and there's no power in this unit. But this is a very, very exciting floor plan because it gives a lot of folks options, especially at that weight, right? You could look at something like this, take your family out, take this out for a day trip to the beach. You could easily, you know, spend some time in something like this. They give you the ability with no slides. It's actually pretty roomy. It's a bit sterile feeling inside because of this kind of situation here, how it's set up. It would have been nice to put maybe more of a sofa type thing right here. But because of this, it gives you a little bit more sleeping accommodation. Maybe if they put a small jackknife sofa right here, I think it would have accomplished the same thing, but giving you a little bit more of that cozy, maybe small home feel to it as opposed to this. But what do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. I'd love to know your opinion on this tiny little Jayco flight travel trailer. This is super, super cool. And this unit's gonna have an MSRP of $22,683. The sale price on this unit, of course, is gonna be much lower than that. So if this is something you may be interested in, definitely give them a call. And again, we're at Ron Hoover here in Corpus Christi, Texas. They, uh, they usually stock up on these smaller units because a lot of folks actually really like these. These are the first ones to sell out because they're within the financial reach of most people. But not only that, they are capable of being towed by a lot of vehicles that you may already have. You don't really have to go and reevaluate if your truck is gonna have the tow capacity needed for something like this. Because if you have a half ton truck, if you have a full size SUV or a mid size SUV, you know, if you have a vehicle that has at least that four to 5,000 pound maximum tow capacity, capacity and you have the actual payload or cargo capacity to be able to support you know 300 to 400 pounds worth of tongue weight this might be perfect for you just keep in mind when you fill that 25 pound propane tank it's going to weigh upwards of 40 pounds the tank itself weighs about 15 pounds so you definitely want to factor that in if you throw a battery up there depending on the type of battery that battery could weigh 60 pounds so anything you add to the front of this unit is definitely going to transfer to your truck in terms of tongue weight or your tow vehicle so just definitely understand how much weight you could potentially be adding in terms of propane batteries as well as any cargo you bring along with you some of it will transfer to the axle so you have to be aware of that as well anyways guys i sure hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.